Hello there, I'm Nerebex. Welcome back to our William Speedrun. We're going to start part 5 here. I hope you've been enjoying so far. If you want any changes to the format, or if you think it's good or not, please give me a uh, comment so I can know. And uh, if we'll continue with this one for the next save in 1.7. With that said though, we're going to continue. And uh, please like and subscribe, helps me out a ton. Let's get into it. Did all right, considering that this was a wet race with uh, without much overtaking. Still a decent amount of points. Everyone gained a development point, which was good. We made extra money due to our finish position streak. One and a half million extra there. And uh, yeah, pretty good result altogether. Now, let us distribute these points first. We're going to put one in accuracy for Yastri. Going to put one in cornering for Duan. I kind of want to try and make a face monster and release him to another team and see if he it's actually a good thing to test too in season six here. we're actually going to get let do and go i think just because we want to create a piastri is you know our main player right now but i think we're going to let do and go as i said off this season and just see if another team picks him up and just see how well Duan can do there like, he lacks smoothness, but he's starting to get there in pace stats. I want to see just how well, well, another team could use him, really. For Pocher, point in control, point in accuracy. Pretty good. And let us see here now. We have a new ATR period. We're going to wait for the one of the big three, I think. Side of that, or we put it in suspension, maybe. But uh, a bit of a difficult choice, I feel. Board check-in. The board is uh, happy with us. Good to see. Honestly, the financials isn't something that we really are focused on because the balance is just going upwards. We have a projected income of 300 million and outgoing of 190. So uh, we should be making a decent amount of money here. Really. A lot of money. This does not take into account the money that we had before the season, so this is added to what we started with. And other than that, I think we're good. Development report for our car. We are back into having both cars at 19 for cooling, which is uh, to be expected. Still first though, and uh, we'd like to stay there next year if possible. I just bit my tongue, sorry about that. Performance targets for our next race. Let's have a quick look. Passes lap for the race session should be doable. And with that, I think we are ready to go. Let's go to the Italian Grand Prix. We are starting 19th and 20th. No uh, penalties to help us here. And as you can see, we will be doing once again the aggressive two stopper, double medium to soft. And uh, with that, let's go. Let's see how this race goes. The drivers have now taken position on the grid, and it's looking like a cloudy day. Here we go. It's the Italian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Lights out, and away we go. Oh, could be a good run, yeah? But I'm probably going to get blocked by Alpha. With that said, let's see how this race goes, because we are going to be super Williams. aggressive. We have a very fast car. So the straights here might benefit us, sure but the DRS. Uh, the DRS train scares me. It might put us in a bad position, all things considered. And there's an overtake from Williams! <clears throat> Sounds like someone's locked up! Yes, it is doing work, which is good to see. Up into 12th. Oh. That was a bit scary. Seemed for a second like it was, uh... Yes, we had fault, but, uh, I assume it's Ocon has, uh... Done look. something fun here. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Double whammy. Uh, the reason why I got spooked there, I assume, then, is because 
it was right in front of us. So, yeah, a bit of a scary situation. Already up to 8th and 11th, 9 laps in. So, uh, looking really, really good here. Faster slope. And it ran wide, I assume, and that allowed... Did you want to overtake, or did he overtake before that? A bit uncertain, but uh, he's nicely making his way up the uh, up the grid here. The Astra as well, climbing. We are now within six seconds of uh, the lead. Magnussen is once again having a great race for Alpha, so... Uh, I'm afraid that they might have invested everything into this season and that they're going to be a back mark starting next season, but it'll be interesting to see. They've just had uh, pretty decent growth so far. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, we already have some people pitting. And I'm pretty sure there are going to be more people pitting on the, salt, on the mediums here. So we're going to try and drag ours out a little bit. Just so we have uh, more to play with, because once we pit, we are going to come out fairly far back. So uh, gaining a bigger pocket to, you know, that back end will be more beneficial to us. But uh, we are going to have to pit here very, very soon. And we're actually going to pit Dune this lap. We're going to be pitting Piastri on the next one. Dune... Came out in ninth there. It's barely off. Piastri comes out ahead of Albon and Co. So that's good. Is that a now in terms of fuel usage, we're still looking good. Although we'll probably have to start moderating it a bit. Since we are suffering from negative laps. And uh, we're just going to put it balanced for now. Since we are at the halfway mark of the race. We have uh, 18 seconds to front. 24 seconds for Dune. And everyone in front of us will have to pit. So, in theory here, we could sail off into the distance, but we are going to have to pit once more, because we need another compound as well. So, we probably should have done, done it's gone softs, but uh, we will still be able to gain a fairly decent advantage here. Doon just needs to make his way past the uh, signs, hopefully soon. There we are. And uh, with that, we are now oh, in a pretty good replay. position. Now we see the Williams here. Fairly straightforward overtake using the DRS. You're doing very good. Lap time are good. Lap time now, are good. I do need Duan here to actually uh, pull away from Science so we don't DRS train him along. So we'll see if we can pull that off. That's a stonking lap. Looks like he can't. Or did he not do, do it now? Yeah, there Check we are. The DRS. But uh, it basically cost everything uh, everything we have to make it uh, happen. So, gonna have to see here now if uh, we can keep him there. Because Science here will be a threat then, especially when we end up going onto the softs in a few laps time. And we don't really have a gap, a good gap to the back here to make it happen either, so... Uh, it's a bit worrisome. He has three locked up. Luckily, no damage, just a loss I of time. Been a lock up. So that we can safely ignore, I feel like. That's also one of the benefits to being ahead. That lock up, if you were in a train, could, you know, cause a crash, penalty, everything, but uh, since he's running on his own, he's good. Now, I'm better sure how I want to play this now, because there's 10 laps to go. We pit Doon. He's going to end up. You know, behind Magnuson, potentially. Can he eke out that gap, though, in a timely manner? Or should I just get him on the softs and have him go attack? I think we're going to get him on the softs, have him go attack, if you're safer. And I think we're going to do the same for Piastri here. Even there are 8 seconds between them, double stacking shouldn't be a problem. There we are, doing came out in 7th. And 17 seconds behind, Piastri 2nd. Let's see if he can hunt down now. Uh, for signs. But the thing is, he's actually pulling. Well, he pulled away, luckily. But he was pulling up with him. The, uh, the other car step for a second, which was concerning. Now, Duin is up next to, as you can see, Russell and Magnuson. 
Hopefully we can make the overtake soon. And Piastri is just going to have to book it if he wants to catch up to Sainz. Five laps to go. A second faster lap. So, uh, should definitely be doable. But Doolin is going to be the one with the challenge here. He'll probably get Verstappen, but I doubt that he's going to get Leclerc. Got him Verstappen, and he actually got Leclerc too. So Leclerc's uh, behind Sainz here by That's your last 11 lapping, last seconds. Lapping. So, pretty good there. Let's just push everything we have now. Uh, we can't do it for Dune because he doesn't have anything to give, but uh, yes, he has a little bit. And there we are. Nice, had a good race. Okay, check the flag. Should have, check uh, flag. Should have tried to dispatch him sooner because then I think uh, Dune would have a much better choice, choice chance at getting second place. A good result for Ferrari, second and fourth. Red Bull fifth, Mercedes sixth. Magnussen had doesn't have the best race he's ever had. Lost sixth position, ended up in seventh. So uh, that's a bit of a sad moment for him. Alpine, eighth and ninth, they will be happy with that. Schumacher in the points, pretty good. Norris had a bad race. Uh, Bottas had a bad race. Giovinazzi had a bad race, but uh, not much we can do about that. And the drivers, both uh, Ferraris move up a point, a point, a position. And uh, Gasly's down to sixth, Verstappen down to fourth. Constructors, no change. Let's get on with it and see how the drivers uh, developed. So, as you can see, it went pretty well. Sorry about that. 1,400 points for both, which is good. And Porsche got a decent amount as well. 5 million in the bank is also pretty good. And we have some new regulations coming in here. Financial changes, uh, cost cap. We are going to vote against, but I have a feeling it might be pushed through here. And uh, good result from the board, basically, giving us uh, congratulations on our efforts. Well, the center refurbish, good to see. We will continue here and see if that cost gap is finally going to get lowered or not. Oh, it did not. Only Alpine and Haas were the poor. The rest of us said no. So we're actually running that on both chassis and front wings. So let us go ahead and uh, and fix that. We're going to go warehouse, front wing, and we are going to make three more of these because we aren't going to be making any more parts this season. And let's make one chassis. It doesn't hurt. Seventy-five thousand. It's not a lot of money for us. That is. Total theory and poor condition. We will refurbish it. Because if the cost cap increases and we spend more on facilities, we might actually start hitting the cost cap quite regularly at the end of seasons. Scouting has been completed. Again, it's for uh, my project. I'm going to refurbish the boardroom. And in general here, we're currently scouting uh, average 60 drivers. I'm going to be doing some 50 drivers and then we'll see how, uh, how my little driver, <laughs> driver skill test goes. Be right back. Scouting has been uh, put in action. We have a point here for Dune. I'm going to put it into braking. And as I said, we are probably going to get Lewis. What? Help. We're probably going to let him go at the end of the season and promote for share. And I hope an other team picks him up because I'm interested to see just how <laughs> how he's going to do against his teammate based with these stats here. And that's basically uh, what I'm very curious about. But also help giving... Uh, Give some ideas if, you know, my belief is <laughs> correct or not. Cassie has been manufactured. Good. Uh, race prep from Singapore. We will get that going. And what we could also do as a fun challenge, maybe in a later save, is to try and make a ra race a female driver, if you will. Or any other prospect for that matter. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we do want to guarantee fastest lap. And with that, I think we're ready for Singapore. Let's go. We'll be trying to do a one-stop here, and as you can see, we're starting 1819. Someone has taken a penalty, pushed, up, pushed us a little bit up. So we'll be trying the one-stop here, and if we feel like it ain't working, we're just going to go overdrive on the mediums, burn them to the ground, and then go onto a set of hards. And honestly, we should still be able to come out on top, so we have the option to, you know, do something different if we don't think it will work. So as you can see, you can see we have installed a powertrain car part on car 2. He had the accidents earlier doing, 
So we had to get him a new engine for this race because he uh, doesn't actually have anything that is <laughs> anywhere close to decent. From the Singapore Grand Prix. And it slides out and away we go. So let's see how this goes without running into, you know, super aggressive mode. We are allowing the fuel, <clears throat> excuse me, we are allow allowing the burnage of fuel, but uh, so far it does not seem to be go labeled. very well, honestly. We uh, are stuck at the back there, so we might have to just burn these mediums, go onto the hards, and I think we're going to do that. We're just going to, we're just going to, you know, send it, if you will. We are also struggling with fuel already, so uh, might need to go conservative on that as well. Just try and use the tires to our advantage here and see if we can make something work. Because this is a really, really hard track to overtake on. Actually, seems to be struggling more than we did in Monaco. Try and give Piastri the overtake, see if that helps. <clears throat> okay, that did instantly have an effect. He went up uh, three places. And one again, though. And now he's already doing just by another Williams. one. Let's see what Let's happened here. Let's take a look at the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Got Albon into the corner, and then I assume he DRS the rest of them. Yeah, seems like it. That is still decent, but, uh, well, if we need to micromanage ERS a little bit here, then I guess we, uh, will have to just do that. And by micromanage, I mean let them burn everything, then harvest that, let them burn everything again. Not a lot of management, just, uh, a little bit, but Piastri overtake Schuchma overtook Schumacher, so... Should still be good. Some people are actually going from the soft to the hard, which is probably what we should have done. <clears throat> Time severely overheating is a little bit too much, so we're going to turn it down to aggressive. And currently, all these pit stops are helping us out a bit. Now, we are good on tires. They are severely overheating every now and again. We have a safety car. Uh... Let's try and take advantage of the safety car, science this out, to get onto the hards. And if we manage this, we might be able to, you know, keep our positions. The end of the race will be the goal here. Let's see if we can make this work. We're going to double stack. There is four seconds between them, so it should be okay. We've had a crash. We Let's see what happens to Sainz. Let's have another look. Sainz is the focus here. Straight off into the wall. That sucks. In terms of pit stops, we got Piastri out in 10th, Duan out in 13th. And everyone but the top three now has pitted. We want these to last though, we're probably going to have to run standard, and we will. And we might change it later on if we, uh, if we feel the need, but for now this should be okay. And we're off. Safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Perfect. See if we can make some moves here. Piastri did not. Up, down, up, down. That's a bit sad. Duan is making a move. Piastri made a move. Duan made a move. Except Duan harvest. And Piastri still has a little bit more to work with. So we're going to allow him to use that up, if you will. So what uh, can we maintain while harvesting? I think we should. So we might have to allow to and pass here so he can right, but uh, I think we're okay. Still plenty of laps left to uh, to work with here. Let's 
Let's see if we can make a move on Ghastly and Archon. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Let's do it like this. Conserve. Okay. Oh. That should allow. Yep. Do want to get past? Hopefully, no one else gets past. And it's a safer way of doing it, I feel like, uh, other than just saying, oh, let your teammate buy. Because letting your teammate buy, you should let other cars buy too, if they're really close. Check the DRS. Copy. So, this is going to be a bit of a slog getting back up to the top, but again, three people are going to have to pit. So, we just need to get up to fourth. So, I think it is perfectly doable. Looks like we're struggling a bit here, which is unfortunate, but not much we can do about it. Let's harvest for a bit for both our cars here, and I uh, guess we could let Lanus just run normal for a little, bit, little while here, because there's no big gaps here out front. Paris has actually gained a little bit, but uh, as I said, no big gaps. Let's see if our drivers can make some moves on their own. This has got to be the, well, furthest back the arrest train that we've ever had. Let's give DNA another opportunity here. Let's do the same for Piastri, because uh, it's just a bit too stagnant, all the positions, really. Piastri got by. Let's have him put two onto Harvest. He'll protect the uh, Duin. Uh, Duin made it, but uh, again, look at the kind of touch and go there for a second. Means Piastri can try and, and get uh, Ocon. Just gained by Williams. Now we kind of need to get past here because the top three has actually managed to. They managed to get into position that is scary for us, if you will, because they can now start pulling ahead, pulling away. But in front of Dune, we only have Mick and Sunoda, and then we'll start fighting the uh, the top ones. There we go. Everyone has now pitted, so it's basically just, can we catch up? The Red game. Moved up. Put the Astro to neutral for now, and we're going to focus on doing. We'll try and get him up behind Leclerc, get him up behind Verstappen, and get up behind Russell. And here's the thing, we have tire life to play with, so we can at the very least go aggressive for both of them. And we can tune it up uh, at the end of the races. Go push, see if this is enough to, uh, you know... Make some waves. Do not go past uh, Norris? Now he needs to catch up to Leclerc and maybe use DRS to get him. And he did. Very good. That was good. So the Astria has actually also gotten both Ocon and Norris. So uh, yeah, things are <laughs> pretty well now. Do not go to Verstappen? Good. Now let's just hunt down Russell. We should harvest a little bit here for Piastri, because uh, he needs a little bit more to work with. There we are. Duan is in DRS range on his tail. Let's see if he can make the move. Piastri here might need a little bit of help, because he is... Uh, he looks to be a little bit stuck behind Leclerc. Never mind. Just uh, talk shit and then he gets by. <laughs> now Duan, we can turn down to balance. He just needs to... You know, sail off into the distance right now. Yeah, so he needs to get Verstappen, and then hopefully Russell as well. Because Leclerc is catching up to that uh, train. But uh, Piastri got through. Russell next. Magnus is having a pretty bad race here, down into 10th. So, uh, hopefully it wasn't just, you know, a flash of brilliance from uh, Alpha. But uh, currently, this it kind of seems like that. Now, we are on final lap, but... Uh, we still have some we need to overtake here, so full on attack. And we'll have to consider how we want to do it with uh, with the ERS, but uh, could gamble on sending it here. 
Which was probably not the greatest idea ever. Guess we give the overtake here and just try and do the best we can. And it seems like it worked pretty well. There we are. Now we just go defend and maintain. That's a great job, great job. For neutral, we are already gaining from, uh, from Russell here, so... Uh, That's the flag. As long as we don't bin it into the wall, which we didn't, we'll have a good result. Very nice. So, Dune had a proper last to first. The Astri ended up second, which is good. Fastest lap. Russell third, Verstappen fourth, Leclerc fifth, Ocon sixth. So, a good race for Mercedes, really. A decent race from Red Bull. And only one Ferrari in the points. Uh, because the collision is still a decent result, don't get me wrong. Alpine in eighth there with Gasly, Bottas, and Magnussen. Pretty inside the point. Kind of disappointing for Alpha here. Because they had some good races and now they had a bad one. Let's see what next uh, time brings. Travis Championship, Verstappen back up into third. Science fourth. Russell up into sixth. Gasly down to seventh. And in terms of constructors, we have once again no changes. In terms of development, we have uh, not the best race really. Kind of hard to overtake at this location, which leads to, of course, fewer points. But. Uh, it's still good, don't get me wrong. It's still a pretty good race. And money-wise, we also made a uh, decent chunk here. Can't complain. Front wing manufacturing completed. Good to see. Oh, even Yastri, we're going to give a point of control here. Which brings him out to 86. Starting to reach the uh, proper high numbers here. Stop congrats us for Singapore. Which... Uh, is how it usually goes. We actually have two research coming up here. Front wing is one. And we are going to research another front wing. I think we could split our focus here. We have three front wing research projects completed, but it is what will give us the best boost. Is it just focusing on the front wing? Is it focusing on something else? Because what I'm thinking is we can use Intense next season to catch up on the other pieces. But it's just so expensive to do that using uh, using something else, really. So, I guess we are going to be researching the front wing here. It's still not a massive boost. I can't want to use aerodynamic on the underfloor again. So, we're going to do that. And again, it's about a... Well, it's not even that for this. It's a 3% boost in these two. A 4% boost here. And a, uh, well, a half, half a percentage point benefit for cooling. 3% for both airflow. So we're starting to get to the point where we're going to suffer. But uh, let's be honest here. These are the gains that we've gained over five seasons. We haven't had any huge regulations. So uh, someone resetting the board is probably needed. Let's be honest. So even if we can't get everything back, we can gain a decent amount of it back. We'll be, uh, we'll be fairly happy about the situation. Sideboard research has completed. Uh, board is happy with me. Car development report. Cooling is once again a weird one, so someone has done some shenanigans. Uh, Lexus Japanese Grand Prix. And of course, we also have the sideboard research just completed. And we'll do a quick chassis here because uh, I'm trying to trying to do balance. Might not be the best way of doing things, all things considered, but uh, it's just how we've decided to do things here. And as you can see, it's barely a... 3% here, barely 4% here, so we aren't gaining much, but everything we gain will be, well, important to have gained. Now, both our driver's contracts end soon. We will actually be renewing Oscar's contract, but I am a little bit uncertain what kind of contract he wants, so we can't do it now anyway, so we'll have to wait for the race weekend to end. So basically, once the races have been done, we can... Uh, Go ahead and renew his contract if we want to. In terms of the race performance, we're going to have one driver in the top two, which should be doable. And just going to have a quick look here on the research project. So we'll have a new underfloor in a week. And again, we're going to slap on a... Uh, we're going to slap on mile hours, wind tunnel hours on that project later on. And uh, I just think we should prioritize the underfloor with the extreme hits that we're currently getting 
So uh, yeah, let's head off to Japan and see how that race goes. We'll be doing a uh, a no stop here. Nah, we'll, we have rain incoming. So uh, we're going to be burning the softs until the rainy period at lap 15, 14, 13, somewhere around there. And once the rain starts, we'll uh, go intermediates and then we'll probably go hard to the end of the race. In terms of the setups, we have decent confidence, everything's looking good in terms of components, and with that, let's get into the race. A somewhat... The drivers are warmed up, they're ready to go, here at the Japanese Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go! Lights out, and away we go. So PS, we got Schumacher, it's good. Now it's kind of hard to overtake here, so I'm giving both our drivers the overtake. And that should hopefully help speed things along. We might have to play around with the and there's an overtake uh, from Williams. ERS a bit this race. Just because of uh, difficulties in overtaking. So, uh, we'll see. I think it'll still be okay. A firm on DRS. The goal there is, of course, to just climb as high as we can before the uh, rainy period, if you will. So we will allow our driver's here to recover some uh, ERS. Once it's been recovered, try and go for an overtake. That's a uh, that's an interesting cluster, <laughs> to be honest. Yes, we got uh, hopefully Giovinazzi here. Doing is up next. Did it, but then he didn't. High severely overheating is actually a concern here because oh, we need them to last to, there. you know, the rainy period. So uh, we're going to tune down the uh, Check the, DRS. the aggression Bobby, a little Bobby. bit. <clears throat> Keep doing the overtake here. See if you can pull it off. Sorry, Piastri. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Mm, had I played a bit better. Yeah. First person who would have got that there, I think. Uh, I think we're going back to neutral here. And we're just going to allow our drivers to try and do what they want now. Before the rainy period. Because it's coming up in a few laps time. Oh, we've had a spin. Show with a spin. You're doing very good. Lap time are good. Lap time are good. Now, Piastra is having a little bit of a problem here with the uh, fuel Can delta. expect the rain coming? Yeah. But it should still be okay. In terms of the rain, as you can see, the blue line here is below the orange line, which means intermediates, usually. It's a nice little, you know, rule to have in hand because the game doesn't explain this to you. Blue line below orange, intermediates, orange uh, below blue, wets. Four minutes until rain. Guess the first roll didn't uh, pull through. Rain has begun, which means we are going to be pitting and we are going to be double stacking because uh, that's just how things are. Now we should have pitted one this lap, in all honesty, but uh, I was silly and uh, was slow, so that's on me. Yasha and Dune came out 17th and 18th, so. We kind of got punished, yeah? But there's a lot of people who haven't actually pitted, so... We can push properly here. We might be able to make something uh, out of this, so... Uh, yeah, let's go full-on attack on these intermediates. For both of our drivers, and see where we where we end up. And hopefully we don't get holed up too much. So, 8 for Piastri, 10 for Duhan so far. Everyone in front of us has pitted, so that is good. And we have a multiple car crash, which has not resulted in a safety car. Giovinazzi involved. I think there's been contact on the track. Let's take a look at the replay. Now just focus on the Haas. The Alpha recovered pretty the... good there, considering we'll have us contact. Uh, we're going to tune down fuel to balanced, I think. He is driving in clean air, so that is, of course, a... Uh... That does, of course, have an effect, but still. Yeah, so we're going to give overtake. See if we can pull it off. He did. 
to the back. Go balance some fuel so we don't uh, end up in trouble here. And doing will still have to make uh, some work here behind the album. Like Got the move done. Let's see what happened it's another crashed. Now just focus on the hats. Oh. A definite collision there. Could have been worse all on, in all honesty. Hit front wing instead of uh, left left wing. Rear wing. Now with that said, we are going to be tuning down our high wear because they are severely overheating. So uh, we need to make sure they make it out of this rainy period. There isn't a lot left. It'll like be a, <laughs> around lap 30, so we still have plenty of life. No rain expected. Uh, but we're up into 6th and 8th. And hopefully, by maybe getting a jump now into the dry period, dry. we Copy. could make a, a bigger move here. What I am thinking is we're going to pitch one this lap. Then... Now the next lap, because there is still going to be rain for a couple more laps. Let's, oh, sorry. And there's an overtake. Science is pitting. Okay, we're going to, we're going to follow Science here. And we're going to have a look at how we want to do this in terms of making the tires last to the end. Hards will last even at maximum burn. Well, they will not last at maximum burn. They will last at uh, aggressive. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put both our drivers on the hards. And we're going to be doing this lap. We're going to do another double stack. Yeah, I feel it's safe to be pitting, so uh, then I feel it's safe to be pitting. There we are, out in 5th and 7th, so uh, pretty good. We still have two cars ahead of us who has not pitted. We will not be able to jump Leclerc, but uh, we might be able to jump Norris here, so we'll have to see how, uh, how that plays out for us. We're going to stick to aggressive again, and we're going to be running this towards the, uh, towards the end of the race, really. We've just had a car we run wide. I've gained a lot of time on Leclerc, really. We have let, gained less on signs, but uh, I still think we can make this work. Fourth and fifth currently Did for our drivers. Spin out there? And again, fuel might be a bit of a concern here, but I think we'll make it work. <clears throat> yes, we've gotten Leclerc. Good. Can do and do the same. And a new position. Just he did. Very good. Williams. Next up, Russell. Okay, there's a big crash. No safety car. Stroll by looking at the pit list. Crash. Let's have a look. Now look at this. It was the Alpha Tauri driver involved. This is going to be the same spin into the wall. Yes. They've lost control. And, and luckily for him too, it was the front wing, not the rear wing. Yeah. Uh, we need to make a move pastry here because we need to hunt down. Uh, there we are. We need to hunt down signs. I'm doing too. Very nice. Then he locks up and hits the wall. I never should have said nice. That's on me. Uh, we are going to have to pit him here, I think. Because major damage is not minor damage. And he will suffer. So let's get him on the mediums. Let's get a new front wing. It'll take 35 seconds to pit. This is going to hurt him a lot. But uh, I think we kind of have to. And then we'll have to try and stretch those mediums to the end of the race. Which should be doable. Now, in terms of where is he going to end up before he pits? Oh, and that's a crash! We can take a look now. Now, we see the Williams here. He locked up and went into the wall, I believe. There's the crash. Yes. Not much we can do about that, but uh, it happens. Now, we're going to come out in probably 12th. Sorry, 11th, all things considered. So I'm going to have his work cut out for him. 10 second stop time. That's a bit longer than anticipated, was it not? But this also allows us to go attack. And we do have that chassis damage. So uh, let's just see how that plays out. For now though, Piastri is working on hunting down uh, signs. And we have over a second per lap gain. So should not be a concern at all. We might have to go conservative on the fuel. Because we are losing a little bit of fuel delta air towards the end. Now, doing this back up into ninth, he will be hunting down uh, Alvin and maybe Magnus Gasly, potentially. That's a stomping lap. We'll have to see exactly how well he can do. 12 laps to go, Piastri is 4 seconds behind signs, should get him within 4 laps. 
Well, not get him, catch up to him. More like it. And, uh... I'll have to see how Duan does it, if he can make something I work. He too is going to have to go wide. conserve. In terms of fuel usage. He has caught up to Albon, though. I should get him on the straight. Yeah. As expected. Now, Piastri and is at science here, yeah, but we're going to harvest some uh, ERS. So we have plenty to play with and can just pull ahead that gap once uh, we make our move. Duan is three seconds by Norris. Should still be able to make some moves here, maybe get up to potentially fifth if he does well. Piastri has made a move on Sainz. Let's see if we can just ERS our way away from him. And then we'll just be about maintaining this gap to the end, which shouldn't be a problem. Put a focus on Duan, who's actually got Norris on his own. And is about to approach Gasly and uh, Giovinazzi and that uh, gang. Like Sorry, Magnussen and Gasly. Giovinazzi was a back marker. I just saw the team. So you're going to have overtake here for the last two laps. Do your best last on uh, lap, last lap. getting these guys. Someone's run wide. Can also give you the rest of your fuel. Okay, check a flag. And you got one at least, so up into sixth. Not the greatest result we were looking for, but uh, considering there was a crash involved. And damage, sixth is not the worst result ever. Piastri first. Good for us. Uh, Dune in sixth. Still secures fastest lap though, so not all bad. Extra pit stop. 28 seconds behind, so... Considering that it was a long pit stop, he might actually beat now Piastri. So that is uh, also something to consider. Now, in terms of the other ones, Ferrari had a good race. Second and fourth, as you can see. Magnus in fifth. Might be making a comeback, might not. We'll have to see in the next uh, few races here towards the end. Russell in third. Good for Mercedes. Red Bull had a really bad showing. Eighth and twelfth. Alpine down into seventh. Uh, Gasly's having kind of also a bit of a bad period. Album points for Alpha Tauri and Paris points for McLaren, which I believe they're happy with. Science now moves up into third. We're snapping down into fourth. And otherwise, no change other than uh, Paris up to 12th. Constructors, no real change there. So, uh, yeah, good race. As you can see, decent, uh, decent gains, but could have been better, of course. Just how things are. And money-wise, we made a little bit extra money, but uh, we still gain a lot from... Okay, so that is the contract expiring. I was thinking it was something else. <laughs> but uh, never mind that. We are going to be, you know, getting a new contract here for Piastri. I think we are going to let Duan go, as I said. Uh, just to make things a little bit more exciting. But also because Boucher has gained enough points now where he... He warrants a chance, at least. So we're going to upgrade his accuracy and control. And we're going to do the same that we've been doing with all our drivers here. He just already has this moodness, so uh, it could also allow us to do some other interesting strategies. So again, we're going to promote Porsche and we're going to probably pick up a, uh, a, a new gen as a uh, regen driver. Oh, sorry, reserve driver. Accuracy up for Piastri. What we're doing, we're going to put points into reactions. Again, we're going to let him go. Or we want to make what I consider the best stat-wise driver to... Uh, to hopefully have an AI team pick up and just see if he overperforms for that team. So with that, we are going to be, you know, negotiating contract here with Piastri, which could be difficult because you don't really have a good idea what they want. And that is, uh, of course, a big concern. So car one, salary, let's give uh, up this to, let's try 15 million first. Or we could try 10. He has very high. Let's go with 10. Give him a million in... Uh, let's be generous. Let's give him 2 million in, you know, lump sum. Because we have a lot of money. So it's not really generous. It's still pocket change. But uh, you get my idea. You get 20% sign-on bonus to your salary. And we'll avoid race target bonuses. Because they get expensive really quickly. And we don't really need them. I'd rather pay an extra 10 million a season. And give uh, a million for first place. Um, let's try this and see how Piastri feels. Not 
Not happy with the salary here. Isn't high enough. Uh, we're going to buff this up to 15. Because I believe Verstappen has 24, 25 therein. And with an 86, I would assume he maybe wants something around the 20 million mark. Maybe a little bit less. But let's try 15 first and see how he feels about this. We do have high patience to work with. Isn't high enough. Okay, let's bump him up to 20. Again, this isn't really... It's an extra 20 million a season. Let's compare, consider the fact that Piastri is currently paid a measly 450,000 a season. So, this is going to be very costly for us, all things considered. But, we can handle it. Okay, he's indifferent to his uh, salary now. It's acceptable. So, we are going to renew the contract. We're going to pay him 2 million. He's going to get a 20 million uh, salary now over 5 seasons. Well, a year. So, a 100 million contract, really. But, uh, yeah, with that, we have renewed Piastri. And, as I said, I want to promote Porsche to you know, doing spot. So, we'll not be renegotiating his contract now. We'll be doing it once Duan leaves because his contract ran out. And, uh, I think that should be okay. Now, it might be, again, a bit, a bit disloyal of me. But, I think it would be... Interesting to see how the AI handles it. I also had a suggestion to let both of these guys go. But uh, I think I'm just going to get let one go. It could be very interesting to see again how both of them do. Because again, I raised them as I see the best at uh, investment. So could be very interesting. But uh, again, we'll, get, we'll let one of them go, I think. Japanese Grand Prix. Again, congratulations for our performance, which is good to see. Our underflow research has completed. And uh, the contract renewal has happened. It's good. And we do need to manufacture a new chassis because uh, Duan did demolish one during that last race. It's minor damage, but we just tossed the whole thing out. Underfloor research has been completed. And currently we're looking at a 26% loss in expertise. And oh, this is going to be sucky for my math. About a 20% loss here, I think. 40% minus 13.5. Okay, even more than that. Uh, let's borrow this one. It's uh, about a 36% loss. Sorry, 26% loss here. So I assume it's the same for these two. Airflow is going to hurt a lot as well. So we are going to be trying to see how beneficial would it be to put in all of our aerodynamic testing into this underfloor and try and get it... Uh, you know, get some of our expertise back so we don't even lose too much. So we're getting about 8% here. Now remember, these numbers will be lower simply due to the fact that we're going to be putting engineers on this. But the total gain per day would will be higher. So we could be cheeky here and try and, you know, extend it, put one engineer on it. But as you can see, we might not even make it if we put all of our engineers on it. Just barely in time. So we're going to do this. Again, I still think that it's good. We're going to get another 7% in uh, saved in drag reduction, meaning that we lose 20. Same here, we'll lose half of our, half of our, you know, expected loss. But uh, it's still 20% loss all around on the underfloor, and that is going to, that's going to suck for next season's car. But again, this is something that hits everyone. If we focus on underfloor here, we should be able to come out on top, which is the hope. And with that, we should be good. Wardroom has been refurbished, and we have another one coming up, which is the race sim has also been refurbished. Good. Let's continue to the next race, which uh, could be the United States one, if I remember correctly, Coda. And we have chassis manufactured, which means we're good. Let us set performance targets here. Uh, fastest lap should be doable. And with that, we're off to uh, Coda. We're going to be doing a two stopper here, medium, medium, hard. And we're going to be running standard. We might go a little bit aggressive on the first tint. We'll have to see. It is a possibility. But we'll be running most of the lap, just uh, the lap, the race. Yeah, standard. Piastri has actually taken a engine penalty here. So I don't understand why he's starting 19th. Because Duan hasn't taken any penalties this race. So... Yeah, I'm very confused about why the penalty has not been applied here. I guess it's because we didn't have a qualifying time, maybe? Oh, there we go. 
And we get the penalty. The thing is, I didn't install during qualifying, so I thought it would still Here count, but... Uh... The United States Grand Prix. <clears throat> it's lights out, and away we go! I guess since the part technically wasn't used in quality, it didn't count, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> just a weird one, all things considered. And a new position just gained by Williams. But we are making our way up the, uh, the grid here. 17 now for Piastri, 19 for Duan. So, Duan is basically where it started. There we go, one up. Is that and a lock up? we could use some, uh, some ERS here to make the life a bit easier. We are, as you can see, running a bit low on fuel already in terms of delta so uh, we'll have to keep that in mind as well but i will be micromanaging a little bit of ers here since we can't use the uh, aggressive really you actually did manage to uh we'll take piastri which actually is good because then it can harvest we can go back to overtake and see what we can do back to harvest here fine doing and both of them made it past stroll. Good. They are climbing. Check the DRS. Gonna have to yeah, harvest a bit though for uh that was a stop doing. Up. And apparently a lot of a lot of stuff is happening at once. Go neutral and just allow them to work because I think they'll be able to Well, slowly but surely make their way up the grid. And we also have some soft runners here, which We'll be kind of punishing, punished here. Going up into six here, hunting down Magnuson. And Piastri is 10th, 9th, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, looking good. So we might just stretch these mediums a bit. Let's see if we get gaps that would uh, benefit us before we do the pit stops here. Yellow flag, sector three. I think something happened to roll. Had a lockup. No biggie there. And we do again have 40% here, but we're gonna push now. These times we're gonna go aggressive for both of our drivers. We're just gonna push here as much as we can on this. Stint, since we are out ahead, we have fresh air. We have, you know, the better cars. We'll be able to gain a little bit of an advantage. We're gonna pit doing here for his set of mediums. And we're going to go standard for Piastri so that he can stretch this mediums over one more lap. He'll probably hit the 30 second, 30 second, 30 percent mark and they'll suffer. But I think it should still be okay. I think we've had a car run wide. He's actually suffering quite a lot more than I thought he would. So that's on me. Should have pitted him Was earlier. A lock up on the track? Mm. Still, we are in a good position here. Up into sixth after the first pit stop. Ball for Dune. Third now. So... Uh, not all bad. We also have more life on our mediums compared to, you know, the people around us. So, uh, still a good position to be in. Doing this actually managed to make it up to first here. Let's have him deploy. And with that, he That's should be able to lap. gain a little bit of a gap here. Coffee. So, uh, Leclerc can't hunt him down. And we're also going to go conserve on fuel. So we, you know, do not run out before the end of the race. Now, Piastri is currently doing uh, an all right job I guess he is down in fourth fifth now sorry fifth up to fourth overtaken signs Leclerc next gets them and then we have Russell as uh, our next target here so uh, even while running everything on standard we still do pretty pretty good and we're gonna again just allow the deployment of ERS to uh, begin the gap here and honestly, Piastri Sounds will like probably be able to hunt down uh, Duan here because of, well, the engine quality difference. Um, Piastri has quite a huge advantage there Sounds in terms of like engine quality. We have a quick look here. It's an 80% engine versus a, you know, 100% engine. But it shouldn't be too different seeing that the wear threshold starts to affect the engine at 85%. So... Ah, of course, it's also the fact that uh, Piastri is running balanced fuel versus conserve. That's on me. But I think we're going to run Piastri now on conserve too. I'll just allow both of them to do it. And we have a pit stop here down to third. We have plenty of tire life left. We are probably just going to run them a little bit into the ground. 
gives them freedom with the hards. And again, we are gaining more time down to third, so we are not forced to pit. We can take our time, we can gain a bit of a bigger gap here. But I should have pitted doing this lap, so uh, that's a yikes for me. And Castro is going to suffer again, because I was too busy talking about other stuff. I really wish I could just put in order. Once they hit this amount of percentage points, they will pit. But sadly, uh, I can't really, can't really make that happen. Gastro came comes out right behind Dune though, still in the DRS range, so uh, no harm, no foul, really. It's still a good, uh, good thing. But uh, I do have a sadly disposition to get sidetracked and miss important things and potentially ruin. You know, game's over it. Which uh, sucks a lot. Now, Russell has ended up way up to third. Like third, fourth. Ocon five, fifth. Good showing here for, you know, Mercedes. And uh, it's nice to down to 14th, which is a bit surprising. But the Red Bulls here, 8th and 9th. It's very disappointing. Magnus is still doing good for Alpha. And I don't think anyone else will have to pit during this race, but uh, Magnus and he could be in trouble. Same with Ocon. So we'll have to see how that uh, plays out towards the end. to go we have plenty of fuel we plan to have everything we could try and do a push lap to secure fastest but uh, I think we're still good there so uh, I will allow both of them to do push lap of fastest towards the end also that they can fight for position but uh, that's just how we usually do things attack push deploy attack push and deploy let's see how this uh, this is the final lap this plays out for us. And doing my to hold on. Good. He actually uh, gets second. Russell third. Magnus actually makes his way up to fourth. Really good. And Verstappen falls out of the points. Up. So, one, two. Just very good to see. Third for Mercedes. Six for Ocon. Good Mercedes result. Fourth for Magnussen. Is a good result for Alpha, really. Leclerc in fifth. Not the greatest result for Ferrari, but uh, I guess they'll take it. And Red Bull just once again has a really bad day. Seven for Lando and 11 for Verstappen. McLaren in the points, along with Alpine, is uh, really good for them. Let's have a look at the drivers. Russell moves up past Charles Leclerc. And in terms of constructors, we have no change, really. Thank you for watching the race, and I hope you have enjoyed. Bye bye. Now, when it comes to development, we had a decently good race. We uh, had both our drivers out front, and they were overtaking each other over and over and over again. Frags point, which is really good. And Porsche did not get forget forgotten. forgotten. Uh, Money-wise, we make the same as we usually do, 5.2, because we don't really take any extra, you know, objectives. With that, part 5 of our... All races included series is done. There'll be one more part this season. Thank you very much for following this. It's been uh, quite fun to edit to something green and play the game, of course. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And uh, in a couple of hours, probably the final part will be out. We'll get the, you know, the usual part out as well. It came out a bit later than the others this time because of uh, editing issues, if you will. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you around next time. One of the issues in point this time was that the outro footage got uh, corrupted, so we're using this as a band-aid. I'll try and do better next time. Thank you for watching, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.